drawing another parallel with pyramids. We had a frustum of a pyramid before, which was what you get when you take a pyramid and cut the top off. You can also talk about the frustum of a cone. And we'll see the formulas here are pretty similar as well. I actually um, wrote them down separately here. The lateral surface area is pi times s times the sum of the two radii. Um, and the volume of this is going to be one-third pi r h times this sort of thing. These are reminiscent of the formulas we saw for the pyramids. Um, slightly different, but that's mostly based on, well, yeah, whatever. They're slightly different. You can just um, have them written down, though. Uh, we do talk about the slant height of a frustum of a, of a cone as well. And remember, slant heights are always measured along the, that, the surface of one of those faces, so the slant height is at a slant. The altitude is the distance between the bases. We have the two bases. We're going to have to keep, them, keep track of them. You can see we have R1 and R2. Those would be the radii of each base. So if you said that this was R1, then this distance would be R2, or vice versa. There's, there's no reason we call one R1 versus the other one R1. Um, it's just a matter of the order we come to them, usually. All right, so if I want to find the lateral surface area, total surface area, and volume of this frustum shown, so let's go the lateral surface area. Pulling from the formula right up here, the lateral surface area is pi times s times the sum of my two radii. Um, it looks like this upper circle has a radius of 2 feet. This lower circle has a radius of 5 feet. Um, yeah, so those are the radii. Um, so that means my uh, lateral surface area, oops, I'm missing something. Oh no, S. Yeah, okay, it's right there. Um, we have pi times 9.0 times 2 plus 5. So I'll just plug that into the formula. Pi times 9 times 7, which gives me 197.9. The total surface area is going to be this lateral surface area plus the area of the top plus the area of the bottom. Um, you know, there's not really a formula for this. You just kind of have to realize, oh, the lateral surface area is this stuff. And of course, you have to add on the surface area of the top circle and the, the bottom circle, those two bases. Uh, that's what A1 and A2 represent. So this will be 197.9 plus the area of the top, which is pi r squared, well, r1 squared. So pi times 2 squared. And the area of the, the bottom circle is going to be pi times 5 squared. So let me add these up. Um, this number plus pi times 4 plus pi times 25. I should probably turn my phone to do not disturb. All right, there we go. Um, looks like we have a total surface area of about 289, uh, what are these, square feet? This doesn't say where to round, so I'm not really being too precise about that. And then for my volume, again, the volume is kind of a weird formula. I'm not going to try to explain it, um, but one-third pi r r1 squared plus r2 squared plus r1 times r2. So let's see, this is 1 third times pi times the height, which is 8.5, times r1 squared, which is 2 squared. r2 squared is 5 squared plus 2 times 5. So we get 1 third times pi times 8.5 times parentheses. 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 25, and 5 times 10 is, or sorry, 2 times 5 is 10. So we end up with total volume of 347 approximately, 347 cubic feet.